oh, oh. <clears throat> hey, you just caught me while I was staring at this shovel here on the beach, reminiscing about my beach life. <clears throat> but anyways, welcome back to another video, yo. Before I get started, wait, before I get started, I just want to say it'd be a massive help if you decided to use my code inside a rec room. Greatly do appreciate it. Means a lot to Surfer Skull. And, uh, yeah. And believe it or not, threatening you guys for likes actually works. So I'm just going to say it now. There's a bomb in your kitty's litter box. And if you don't like the video, it's going to go. But of course, let's address the elephant inside the room. Rec Room is coming to Switch! That's right, I didn't stutter. Rec Room had an announcement saying we're coming to Nintendo Switch. We're not launching yet, but we couldn't keep the news to ourselves. And we'll add more details soon. Check out this page to sign up for updates and a link to their FAQ. Now what they don't tell you inside this announcement is that you guys can actually get a reward for pre-registering and basically signing up your account for updates and etc. Real easy, you just gotta log into your Rec Room account by going to rec.net slash switch. You guys can see the link on the screen or there will be a link down to the description below. So. Get your free item, foo! Now you guys will notice that inside the promotional art of their new, you know, Switch announcement, the one person's holding donuts that are just four donuts. That box is really small. Also, the bean bodies are kind of curving a little weird. Don't know if that means anything. I, I doubt it. But yeah, the reward will be these headphones reward. And as you guys can see, they're just like the eight baller ones, but it's just like a red and blue side. And it says rewards will be given to players that complete account creation with pre-registered email or phone at launch. Now, of course, Requiem also had an FAQ for for Nintendo Switch, and if you guys are interested, they have answers to questions like, when will Requiem release the Nintendo Switch? Will this be free to play? Will it require a Nintendo, Nintendo Switch online membership? Will it be cross-platform? What is the different experience? What is different from the current experience? Will I be able to create and publish rooms on Nintendo Switch? Am I able to sign into my current Requiem account on Nintendo Switch? Will I be able to transfer tokens that I earn on Nintendo Switch? And lastly, are there any other differences? And they even have a little content criteria for Nintendo Switch as well. If, if you guys are a little confused, it basically just means not all created content will be available on Nintendo Switch at launch, and basically you can learn more about what is allowed at launch. So some pretty interesting news here, but they do say that not all created content will be available on the Nintendo Switch at launch. However, we will be adding new content to Nintendo Switch weekly, and to learn about content qualifies, and if you want to learn about which content qualifies, let's keep reading. All created content in Rec Room should follow our Creator Code of Conduct guidelines. Created content must also meet the following criteria to be eligible to appear on Nintendo Switch. And the created content must be suitable for rated T and PG-13. In case you guys are confused about Rated Teen and PG-13, they also add some information there for that. And BAM! I'm just gonna slap you guys with a whole bunch of information there. Feel free to pause and read that if you guys want to. I just don't feel like reading that. Now I'm just gonna give us a little news break. One of my mods I just saw inside my Discord chat right now told me that he just got to try the new JJK McDonald's sauce. And of course, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys have tried it too. I I, I really I really want to buy it, so I'm, I'm really curious. Anyways, back to the video. But anyway, Anyways, obviously the other elephant in the room is this new, or not new, this, uh, uh this S set. It's basically a different color than what it used to be, and honestly, this color kind of goes hard. I like the white. It's a snazzy color scheme, and they should totally consider adding it for real. Now, in other news, Rec Room had just so luckily released an update, and your boy is here to cover it. Rec Room's new update titled the Hands-On Edition, and they have this Rooms 2.0 section to start us off. The link button and creator feedback buttons are now available. They improve the reliability of inventory item transactions, and lastly, fix the bug where Dialog UI does not work properly with Rec Room Reset. With Room Reset. On to general improvements and bug fixes, of course. They go on to say, we adjusted the hand animations on VR and screen mode for full body avatars. Opening and closing your hands in VR should feel less sticky, quote unquote. Jumping, climbing, and prone hand positions now look more like you would expect, and have fun with your new clean hands. Adjusted foot animations to be more grounded when idle and turning in place, and they eliminated the ability to mute other players while on a junior account, since juniors aren't able to hear other players anyways. This saves some memory and also clutter from your UI. They added a fix for blocky avatars on Quest 2, and avatars were incorrectly being selected for low quality settings. They then added a fix for holotar projector momentarily displaying the previous holotar recording when multiple holotar recordings are assigned in succession to a single projector. Clarence won't randomly appear in other storefronts anymore. Unfortunately, they have a YouTube link here, uh, I, it's not letting me see the YouTube link, so. The YouTube link doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure they're just talking about the other store clerks inside of My Little Monster kind of appearing in different shops when they're supposed to be in their own shop. If you played My Little Monsters when it first released, you understand what I mean. Press F to pay respect. <laughs> so sad. Fix the bug that prevented the split shapes button from working in custom dummy props. Fix room settings UI appearing to allow changes incorrectly. Fix the bug that made it hard to grab or put objects in your backpack. Helmet hair now works for the Skeletor hood and S hoods. Let's go. And lastly, they removed 
remove some unused textures in Park. Interesting. Then for Rockroom Studio, they said that they fixed a bug when undo and redo after creating a new studio object prefab could result in an incorrect room save state. And lastly, improved studio function UI to handle cases where changing the method call target can preserve which method is called. Now they have this experiment section and stuff like that, and they said that they ended their experiment with this YouTube slash post link. Now, if I'm, you know, pre-editing this or in post and stuff like that, find out what this post is, that would be great, but the YouTube link isn't taking me anywhere but a 404 page, so yeah. Now you have a visible shadow when using Bean Avatar to help you navigate the world. We're testing variations of the room chat bubble visuals again, and this time the new look should remain visible and clear to read. Let us know what you think. Hey, I saw you over there. <laughs> Didn't think I would notice you? Nah, don't worry. Of course I would notice you. How could I, how could I not notice you? Anyways, anyways, I'm, get, I'm getting out of control. I have a channel membership. Let me let me just put you on real quick. Just give me a chance, give me a chance. It's just like a Patreon. You pay for some perks every single month, and one of those perks are being shouted out in all my videos. I post a lot of god dang videos every single month. So of course, massive shout out to these bookies. We have a new person inside the membership called Turkey, and they have this Gojo profile pic. If you know, you know. Anyways, we also have Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo Cheeky, Raphael, Clown, Netflix, Nine and of course, Box David. Thanks for supporting the channel so much, and if you are a squidling, I appreciate your guys' support as well. Now, let's get back into this sexy video. Skull, cut, cut out the sexy, that, that's too much, dude. And they actually have been testing out this room chat bubble. I've seen it in game and stuff like that, and it looks just like this. I was gonna talk about it, but it just popped up inside our update, so why not talk about it when it's talking about it? We're also testing variations of a new feature where tapping players opens like this little espresso menu, giving you a bunch of options to choose from. Inside this espresso menu, you can add them, go to their profile, party up with them, mute them, report them, or even block them, and you get to see their name and at name inside the middle. This basically opens the espresso menu with a few quick options instead of going directly to their profile on the watch. They're trying a few more variations around the picture and view of your avatar, including layout slash icon adjustments, and making the resolution higher again on certain graphic settings. They'll also be testing a new across room voice chat feature in the near future, which will allow you to speak with members of your party while in a different room. That's super cool! Look for more notes about it soon. And that's pretty much our entire update. A whole lot of juicy information and a whole lot of cool features to look forward to inside the future. Being able to talk to your party members across rooms, I'm hyped for, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna love that. Of course though, be sure to let me know if you guys liked any of the other features though, and I will be looking at your guys' comments. And not to mention, I'm pinning some of your guys' comments at random, so whenever you guys comment, you have a chance of getting pinned. Now of course, that's pretty much all the news that we have for today's video. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it, and of course, if you guys want to see more Rackham information and news, check out my other videos on that side of the screen as well. Thanks so much for the love. Be sure to like the channel and of course, subscribe to the video. And... Uh!